Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and this is Package Main. Go is very famous for its fast and flexible compilation. It's almost impossible to write a Go program that will take a long time to compile. One more cool thing about Go is cross-compilation. From any platform and environment, you can build an executable file for another platform. Go now comes with support for all architectures built in. That means to compile an executable for another platform, you just need to set Go OS and Go Arc environment variables before building. Now let's test this out. Now let's write a simple Go program. In this program, we will print a Go OS and Go Arc environment variables. So, OS and Archi and we use a runtime package to get those values. That's it. Let's try to build it for Apple MacBook. So we set CoS is Darwin and go arc let be 386 go build main the profile as a result we have a main executable and now let's run it so you can see OS Darwin architecture 386 unfortunately this program will work only on OS X it will not work on Windows and Linux from other hand, to compile it for Microsoft Windows, we can just easily change GoOS to Windows and compile it again. The result will be main.exe file, which can be easily executed on Windows. Now, let's see what flags do we have in GoBuild command. If you're curious about the Gotl chain or using a cross compiler, and wondering about what flags pass to the external compiler, you may use a minus x flag to see all this invocation. So let's try it. Go build minus x main.go. So here we can see what Go compiler does. We create a temporary directory, we run a compiler and uh, which files are generated, etc. Cool. I often use LD flags when building Go programs. It will pass arguments for each Go to link invocation. For example, let's uh, let's print a version of our program here. So I will create a, uh, in main package. I will create a variable version string without any value and then I will just print it version right and now I will build this program with LD flags and I will pass a flag minus x it will set the value for the package variable in our case the package is main variable is version and the value is version 000. Let's run this program. All right, so it can be very useful when you want to pass a git hash or git commit during the build and not setting it inside the code. Also, Go includes uh, debugging information into binary file. It makes the size of executable a little bit bigger but you can turn it off it can be helpful when you send and distribute your application to customers so 
I want to test it with one big application I have, which contains a lot of dependencies and a lot of Go code, so we can see the real difference. I will go to this folder, and first I will compile in a normal way, and I use the flag minus O to set the output file name. So let's do the daemon debug, and file is daemon. Alright. Compilation here is a bit slow, but still fast. Oh no. Alright. And second one, I will compile with ldflex to disable debugging information. Minus W removes dwarf symbols, and minus S removes debugging information. Uh, and we call no debug. And let's compare the sizes of two binaries. So by default, the size is 13 megabytes. And no debug a size of 9.4 megabytes. So we see the difference here, 3.6 megabytes. It may be significant, maybe not. Also, let's see, uh, these binaries have some information and we can test it with strings, command line tool. It will print actually a lot, so I want to just to check the number of lines here. We have 97,000 lines and now the back has a bit less of information, but the application itself will work in the same way, way it worked before. So, no impact on the application itself. One more flag is GC flags. We can pass uh, flags to Go compiler. To see what options are available, we can use uh, go to compile, compile minus minus help. And let's review one flag here. By default, Go does some optimizations with the code. For example, in lining. If Go sees some functions that can be inlined into the call place, it will do it. So let's see what Go says when we use GC flex minus M option equal minus M main.go file. Alright, it prints some optimizations Go did during the compilation time. Now let's make some change in our main.go. We will create a tiny function get version. It will return our version. And we will use it in main func. And now let's try let's run go build again. So as you can see, Go does some optimization here. It prints inlining call to get version. So it means that go use this function to inline into the call place. That's it. Enjoy compiling your programs and see you later.